Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today, PS2s. All right. Uh, I've owned those PS2s that you're seeing on the table for, I don't know, maybe more than two years. Uh, I've never actually used them. As a matter of fact, I just got my very first uh, controller. <laughs> Didn't even have a controller for these. Uh, I've been watching quite a bit of PS2 content and uh, I've been seeing this thing called uh, Free McBoot. I happen to have a Free McBoot uh, memory card that I just got. And I want to see if I can get this one of these PS2s going, um, especially with an uh, internal hard drive. I also just purchased this uh, hard drive adapter. It's already been converted to SATA, which is nice. So yeah, without further ado, let me get... Um, this is all connected to the TV and see if I can't figure out how to format that drive and um, and get some games on it. I'm, I'm I've I've never actually I've never actually used a PS2. I've never even played a PS2 game before. So let's give it a shot. All right, I got all this hooked up. Let's power it up. Okay, I'm going to try to do this from memory here. So we need the U-launch. And then uh, File Browser. And we go down to Miscellaneous. Uh, HDD Manager. So drive is connected, formatted is no. So it's R1. Uh, we're going to format it. Oops, I think I pressed the wrong button. R1, I need the circle. Yeah, circle button. Okay, we need to create an OPL directory. Well, I guess they call it a partition, but whatever. I actually don't think I need to do this part. I'm going to do it anyway, but because uh, I'm going to actually just... I'm going to continue booting from the, the memory card. Um, as far as I understand, you can install <clears throat> free McBoot to the actual hard drive, but uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm also going to use that um, memory card as a, well, a memory card. Okay. And okay. And I think uh, it said, hard drives less than one terabyte you should set this to 768 so that's what i'm going to do okay so uh the next thing we need to do is um pull out the hard drive uh connect it to the computer with a with a dongle and then we'll copy some games and we'll get some artwork set up uh in a specific way and then that artwork folder will get copied back to this machine okay i got my hard drive connected with a usb adapter and i'm running um, this program called hdl batch installer uh, it's already detected my ps2 formatted hard drive and so i will click on search games i believe and We'll just take these three ISO files and it's found the three games and then we just click install and that'll copy it over to the uh, hard drive. All right, those three games are copied. We can close this out. And I think my next step is to work on some cover art. Okay, let's uh, get some artwork for these three games. Let's see if I can remember the instructions. We have to run this OPL manager. Uh, yeah, this looks right. English. And then I need to tell it where is the OPL folder that I've created. So that's going to be on the desktop. 
and then save. Uh, according to the instructions, this is expected, so we just click OK. And then, do you want to create folders? Yes, we do. Okay, so then what I need to do is close this. And I think we're going to cut these games. And we're going to put them inside the OPL folder. And then I believe we go back and we run OPL Manager again. Um, whoops, I think I was supposed to put those in a specific folder. Hold on, let me try this again. Right, yes, okay. Let's cut these again. They're supposed to go in the DVD folder. And we paste those in. Okay, so now let's go to... Uh, back to that software folder, run the OPL manager again. Okay, here we go. This is better. Three invalid files. <clears throat> so I think what we need to do is, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, is these aren't named right, so it doesn't know what they are. So one by one, we can click uh, get title from db and then we can try this so it's going to rename it from grand theft auto san andreas blah 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 to this so we're going to click yes okay that's good and then get the file and then try and then yes uh and then the last one get and then try and then yes <clears throat> good okay i think we go to batch actions and art download and i believe the tutorial said to check all of these and click start Uh, yeah, so there we go. There's artwork. So we can now close this. And then we go to OPL. That's all of the artwork for the three games. So I've inserted the um, uh, USB flash drive. I'm just going to copy this art folder into here. So if I'm understanding correctly, the next step, put the hard drive back in the PS2, put the flash drive in the PS2, and then we're going to copy, we're going to overwrite this same folder that's uh, on the hard drive. And that should get us uh, the artwork for the three games that are currently installed on this uh, SSD. I'll see you back at the PS2. Okay, we're all booted up. <clears throat> Let's uh, see if I can remember these steps here. So I think we need to go into the file browser. And we need to go to the mass storage. Uh, right, yeah. And then we're going to... Uh, Right one, I think, is a menu. Yes. So uh, zero is OK. So copy. And then we're going to go up a directory. And we're going to go to HDD0. And the OPL directory, if I remember correctly. Yes. And then we're going to go uh, right and write one, and then we're going to paste. It should ask if we want to overwrite. Yes, we do. Okay. And then select is exit. And then every time I get to the very last screen of this, I don't know how to get out of it, so I end up just turning the 
damn thing off and on. So let's do that. So I think we go back to OPL. Let's enter that. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. Let's just fire up one of these games here. Let's do uh, Need for Speed. Is it, I guess, O? No, it's not O. Uh, X. X is Run. Yeah, games. Nice. My name is Mark Tavellis. Good for you, Mark. Bye bye. This is my first ever PS2 game. I used to play this on my PC. I have no idea what the buttons are. Uh, not that one. Uh, is there a camera? There we go. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I haven't played uh, Underground uh, on my PC in a long, long time. But uh, I do remember the graphics understandably being much better than this PS2. Whoa, 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 whoa. However, this is actually not bad, to tell you the truth. And I've crashed out of the track. Uh, this is also a plasma screen that I'm playing on. Whoa. Um, so, you know, a plasma for the uh, older consoles is actually pretty good. That's a good display to have for it. <laughs> four, four. Yeah, that seems right. I played the hell out of this game on PC. It was so frustrating. Cool. Uh, I'm going to fire up another game. Give me a minute here. Let's do a little GTA. Not sure how the load times would have been on an actual DVD, but... I assume this is faster. I, I don't know if uh, this machine can actually take advantage of an SSD, but you'd think it'd be faster than a DVD. Oh, yeah. Grab the bike, it says. Um, oh, there it is. I was like, you want to tell me what bike you're talking about? <laughs> and pedal is X. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and I promptly, I promptly go the wrong way. <laughs> That's me in real life, by the way. If I can, anything, <laughs> anything with travel, if I can, if I can screw it up right from the first step, I will. Uh, excuse me? This is nice. I've never, I've never played any PS2 games ever. Like I said, I had a, I had a, um, maybe I didn't say that. I did own a PS3 for a very, very short time, but I didn't do anything with it. And uh, it was right around the time that uh, 
the I can't remember which Xbox it was, to tell you the truth. Anyway, I went from whatever Xbox I had to a nut to a different one. And uh I never actually did anything with the PS3. So I I actually ended up just selling it. I mean, I think I may have watched like a DVD on it, but that's not really it doesn't really do anything. It's not it's not the same thing as gaming. Yeah. Uh sweet. I'm going to try and figure out if there's something I can do differently with this uh display though because it doesn't it'd be sweet if it would fill this whole screen um maybe i need to do something with the actual tv settings itself like some sort of overscan. but uh yeah i'll uh be back in uh, a bit and sign this video off all right as i tend to do here we are in the editing software uh thank you so much for watching don't forget to uh, like and subscribe Hit that uh, bell notification if you want to uh, be alerted of uh, the next video, and we'll see you all in the next one.